I don't understand a single word a madman like you says. Now, is that more ghosts I hear see down here? It is. And of course, it's way too bright up here. Well, pretty much everywhere here for me to successfully sneak. Hmm. How to dispatch them? How indeed. Perhaps this would be a good time to try out the power that was given to me. Oh, wrong ability. This one here. Because why not fight fire with fire? The only issue is I don't know which one is mine. He doesn't know where I am. But he's right over there. And... Yeah! Nothing like a good distraction to set a ghost off guard. Say no, you madman. Uh, now, can I use that ability more than once per day? Because if it works once, why... Oh, no. That is a once per day ability, so no good on that. So let us give this a try. And of course, there's three now. Hmm. How to handle this? Divide and conquer, I suppose? Seems to work all right. Another one down. And only a third remains. Let's see if we can get him to reveal himself. That's it. A little closer. What? what where did that noise come from? It is quite confusing, isn't it? Oh. You are a quick one, aren't you? No good. Not quite quick enough... I'm not quite qu quick enough either, though, it seems. That is a shame. Too bad he'll never catch me. And slowly but surely, he gives up thinking that I'm long gone. And that is the opportunity I'm looking for. I just have to take it. I have no time to lock the unlock this chest. I have to deal with this madman. to listen, eh? Of course, of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> it's not funny. I get it. 
And listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked the strumpet pastor, and I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. <sighs> Do what you will. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. Then let him judge. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff that I don't want. I would expect more from an abandoned sanctuary. Although I guess seeing as it's abandoned, why would they leave anything behind? Alright. I shall go let them know that the fool madman is dead. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Yes. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Right, so what's my next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Kill well All right. and often. Sounds simple enough. Word certainly travels fast. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astra told you about the Gourmet, I hope. That I need to kill him and take on his identity. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. You know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook, uh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the Keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. So you think that he knows the true identity of the Gourmet? I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is, and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage, so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. All right. Remember, sounds simple enough. So I'm in the keep at Markarth. Now I just need to find the cook. Where could he be? Probably the kitchen. Let's start there. Oh. Oh, 
Goada, you spilled laundry water in the soup pot again. Do I need to cut off your fingers to teach you a lesson? You touch her and I swear it'll be your fingers that go missing, you stupid Breton. What was that? Now, now, brother. Arnois just being his usual gloomy self. He didn't mean it, did you, Arnois? You're just being silly again. Whatever. Just get back to work. Now. Hmm. I have to work, or Anton will rip my head off. Next season for sure. What? We got Selma. I don't understand. How am I gonna do this with all these people around? I guess we'll just talk yes, to them and yes, find out. Yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Richman. Who are you? What do you want? The gourmet. Who is he, and where is he? The, the gourmet. Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. For the Dark Brotherhood, that can be easily arranged. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go, right? So, we're done? Okay, now I just have to kill this guy. Which should be difficult, seeing as there's all these people Anton around. sure looks like he's from the Reach. But don't tell him that. The question is, can I stealth out of here once I'm done? Probably not. should also open that door open again because once I stealth then I won't uh, once I stealth any action I take will make me lose stealth so I'll wait 24 hours just to make sure that I can turn invisible to get out of here all right so my invisibility spell should be good to go so as soon as I slash him I just have to hit it and then run and hopefully no one will see it. The problem is she is right in the way. Well, here goes everything. Oh, wrong kill. 